Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to all of the... Hey, Sonia. Welcome to all of the newbies. Hey, Miss Viv. To the newbies and to all of those who watch me on replay and, of course, to my classy crew. Hey, Debbie. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. Happy Thursday. Let me crop. What's up? Oh, boo. Boo on that, Viv. Boo. Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> All right, ladies. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around. Hey, hey, hey. Hey there. What's going on? Happy Thursday. Are you guys creating today? Is anybody out there crafting? You guys just chilling, hanging out, having fun. Hopefully, I will inspire you to create today. <laughs> For those of you that do not know me, oh, good, good. Or oh, organizing. Oh, please don't even say, don't even, don't. You just traumatized me. I can't even think now. <laughs> I know, Sonia. Yes, from France. Thank you for your sweet note. Hello, Sherry. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Grandma Terry. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, organizing. Just thinking about that organizing. I have so much stuff I need to organize. Actually, after I get off the phone, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been going through this whole purge, clean out the closet kind of thing. So, I'm actually going to organize my dresser. What is wrong with me? I'm going to clean out one of my dressers, like the dr some dresser drawers today. I just bought a couple of new workout outfits and I thought, well, this is a good time to just get rid of some old stuff. <laughs> And I was thinking about a friend who lost a significant amount of weight. And I was thinking, you know what? We need to do like a, a clothing exchange. I give my clothes to the Goodwill all the time. But then I thought, you know, I've got some little bitty sizes that she might like. Although I'm losing weight, there are pieces that when I get back to that size, I won't be wearing. They're no longer my thing, shall I call it. So I'm thinking maybe you could give me, she could give me a couple things and I give her a couple things. So anyway, for those of you that do not know me, I am T.R. Smith and I'm, uh, Smith, I think I said Smith. <laughs> Smith and I'm a mixed media artist and instructor. Um, hey, how you doing, Sherry? Um, I come in and I share with you guys on Thursdays. Uh, just come in and I share the jam, the journal about me challenge with you. And I reveal the challenge and the prompt. So this week's prompt is like a great achievement or your greatest achievement. And the creative challenge is to use beads. So I'm going to share 10 really cool ways. Actually, it's probably actually more than 10. But there's some really cool ways to use beads in your art. I'm not actually going to create. I have pulled out some things that I used beads on. So for those of you that are doing the jam, I hope that these give you some great ideas for creating. Um, I thought, you know, I don't feel like creating right now. I've been creating all week. Um, and today I just didn't feel like doing art actually, but I thought we needed some happy time together because it's feeling really crappy in the world right, right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm coming on. I want to hang out with my artsy pals. We need to have some fun. So today, 10 cool ways to use beads and let's have a heart party today too. So, if you don't know, by tapping on the screen, you release hearts. And the hearts let me know that you're enjoying the broadcast and you want me to come back. So, I'm calling it a heart party. Yay! Thanks for all of the hearts that are flowing up. Because what I'm going to say is when I show you something, if you like it, just tap the screen to let me know that you like the thing that I'm showing you. Maybe the technique with the beads. And let's just have a little heart party. So, just tap those hearts as I show each piece. And I'll tell you what I I did. All right, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Let me put my phone on the stand there. Now you can see me and now I can start sharing. Um, for those of you that don't know this, I used to be a scrapbooker. Anybody in the house know that I was a scrapbooker? Tap the screen if you knew. Send me up some hearts to let me know that there are people that are aware that I was a scrapbooker. So I pulled some of my scrapbook pages. However, 
Hey, Miss Yvonne. Um, what I'm going to say to you is that whether you art journal, whether you scrapbook, whether you're a planner, I know I, I, I try not to waste too much time. You know, I, I, I got things to do. I got things to do. <laughs> right? Anyway, whether you're a scrapbooker, art journaler, maybe you paint or uh, you're a planner, all of these ideas are awesome, awesome ways for you to use in whatever your craft is. Card making too. I don't know what that just said. I know you, I think it was supposed to be seeing you and hearing you, which is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to share these ideas with you and please incorporate them in your craft, whatever that may be. All right. So you guys saw my badass art journal, which I love. Okay. Heart party. If you like the art journal, it's handmade. I did it. I love to see some hearts. One of the things that I did with this is I hung beads from the spine. So if you make your own books or if you are a card maker, think about wrapping some string around your card and hanging some beads from that. How about that? That's awesome. Yeah, this is my One Badass Art Journal. I teach a workshop called One Badass Art Journal. And I have a bunch of guest artists there. So we created handmade journals. And we made some really amazing art in that workshop. Hey, if any of you are interested, you can still sign up for that workshop on my blog at trsmith.com. And, of course, you know there are tons of free tutorials there when you sign up as well. All right, let's keep going. So you guys are going to get to see some of my old scrapbook pages. How cool is that? Because I don't hardly scrapbook anymore. Anyway, here is one of the first ways that you can use beads. You can use beads. Cooking Cutie is the layout. And I use them to make this word. What I did was I just simply bend some wire like I would write in cursive and I threaded on beads easy peasy and then what you do with the end of the word or the letter thread it back through your paper and just tape it to the back so there's one fabulous idea all right moving on I'm gonna need some hearts this is one of my favorite layouts from back in the day I don't know if it's because the girl was so cute or what <laughs> there how about that? Here's another way. You can make like a flourish and thread on your beads and then hang charms from it. So flourished hang, flourish wires or ribbon that you hang something from. So you put your beads on wire or ribbon and hang your charms from it. And you can also have it as an embellishment at the bottom of a tag on a page uh, on the front of your album. Oh my God, in your planner. Awesome sauce. All right, here's another. This is a two-pager. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This is the same thing. Old layout. Oh, this was one of my favorites. This one's really old. Probably when, when I really, 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 really first started scrapbooking. I can't even tell you. This, this, these pictures were from 2003, so that should tell you. Anyway, this is just another way to hang um, your charms so that you have another idea. On wire, charm at the end, bunch of beads. And then again, you just attach by threading the wire through your paper and taping it to the back. Okay? This is another two-pager, but you don't really have to see both pages. Um... This is awesome. Letter beads. You guys know these beads. You've seen them in Michael's and at the store. If you have some, thread some on a string or a wire. Thank you so much for the hearts. Love the hearts. This is a heart party. Love the layout. Love the idea. Tap your screen. Give me some hearts. So thread your beads on some wire or ribbon. And then I have more beads. So I've got the lettering beads and I've got these beads. This would be absolutely amazing on the front of a handmade album or on a card. Oh, yes. See, exactly on your Midori. Absolutely. So this 
use it. You can you can personalize, you can add your favorite words, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, now here, this one is fun. I think that I have them upside backwards now. Hold on, because I want to save some of the best for last. So here's just one more showing you it on lettering. I have, oh, uh, mm, she was eating pizza. This was my niece. This is quite old. She just turned 18. So <laughs> this is a layout from some time ago. Thank you so much for the hearts. But that's another way. You know what? You can just buy, if you go to the store, craft wire, you don't even need a thick ga gauge wire. You can get any kind, the thin one or the thicker one. Uh, you want to just make sure that it's not too thick that it won't, your bread, your uh, beads don't, won't thread through. So be careful about that. You know, you don't want that gauge that is so heavy that you're going to need special tools to bend it. Although I do believe I probably, no, I, I think I use my hand or if I use a plier, uh, the wire tool just to get some nicer bends than I would with my hands. So yeah, just don't go get kind of medium. All right, so here's another one. We went to see Buddy Guy um, at his club in Chicago years ago, and you can use it to make borders. Borders. Thank you. Thank you. Love the heart. Borders. And as you see, I also made these little music notes. How awesome is that? I'm, I used to love beads. I swear, I just used to love beads and I use them all the time. And I'm just like, wow, well, look at that. I love that border. How cool is that? That's just the second page. Okay, now this you might have to pull up a tutorial. I have a book on how to make bugs out of what beads and wiring. So I used to do beading. Yes, you can absolutely put it on your canvas, put it on your book, put it in your planner, cards, scrapbook pages, everywhere. They go everywhere, okay? So there are books that help you to do beading to make bugs, but you, you know, everything's online. So Google it and see if it comes up. Go to YouTube and see if it comes up because check out my cool little uh I think this is just like a butterfly or a damsel fly. Oh my God. And there she is. Such a cute little girl. Again, just turned 18 this month. Graduate today. She graduates from high school. Today is her graduation day in Chicago. Wish I was there, but I was there in May. So I, I didn't go, but I did send her some money. So I'm sure she's happy <laughs> and doesn't care that I'm there, but she got her check. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see her next month. She'll come to me. <laughs> anyway, yes, how awesome is that? So look those up. I used to love making books. So now you'll get to see some more. Check it, check it. Oh my God, dragonfly, damselfly. Yes, can I get some hearts? Because that dragonfly and that damselfly are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So look that up. Now, this one is super amazing. So, I'm going to need y'all to keep that finger going. Keep that finger going because I made a spider. A spider. So, again, I have a book that teaches you how to bead bugs. I'm sure you can probably find the instructions online. Or you could probably pick up the, um, the book at Michael's and it comes with the beads. So, you get the book and it has the beads in a little thing with the book. So there is another way to use beads. And this, I'm going to show you one more, and then I'm going to tell you some more um, ideas. Yeah, it's very cool. Thank you. Um, just the whole idea of making different shapes with your beads is really, really cool. And there are so many beads out there. The possibilities are endless. Yes, the beading, the bugs was amazing. All right. So <laughs> I did a layout of my gym shoes. Seriously, when I was doing, hi there, welcome, welcome, thank you for joining. What's your name? Tell me. Type it in because from here I can't see the little uh, name that pops up. Anyway, so here's another one, a flourish border. It is just a great accent. Uh -huh. 
I should. I should give a prize. You know, we should have a heart party. Who knows? That's a great idea. I love that idea. We might have to do a heart party for real, and I'll have a prize for you guys. I'm going to check and see, because I can see if you gave hearts or not at the end of the broadcast. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for you. <laughs> Anyway, so I did these on my gym shoes because I started working out. I was losing weight and I wasn't very girly according to me. You know, black gym shoes, gray gym shoes. And I bought some gym shoes with pink. And I was just so excited that I had kind of stepped away a little bit and got a little bit girly. I think this is where my love affair with pink started. So, yes, love that layout. It's really fun for me to look back because now that I do my art journaling and my mixed media and my canvases, I don't uh, scrapbook that much. Of course, when I see my layouts, it makes me want to scrapbook again. So, I do have a bunch of scrapbooking friends that I get together every month. And I usually paint, but now I've started at least bringing three three layouts because I still got all my scrapbook supplies so I try to get a couple layouts in anyway here's another idea two more ideas for you to use your beads get those beads get you some really good glue probably some matte medium would work or a liquid glue and you can draw all of those shapes like a border or a heart or flowers fill it up with your glue or outline it with your glue get those micro beads and then pour it right on the glue Pour it right on the glue. You might need to press them down a little bit, but you can do that. Press them down a little bit, and then you'll have a beaded shape. Okay? And, of course, you can take the beads, beat them on wire, and make hearts and make flowers. So those are some more ideas for using beads. Yes, yes, just all of that. Isn't it just so much fun? Isn't having art and, and crafts and all of this stuff, to me, it's just it's just such an awesome way of life because to me it's a way of life and there's so so many possibilities so much stuff that we can do the fun never ends the fun just never ends yay anyway i thank you guys for joining me i thank you for the hearts they're awesome i love seeing all those different colors thank you for joining me i hope that you're inspired how many of you are going to try beads in your art and what's your art before we go can you just type in real quick yes no absolutely something that says are you going to be using beads in your art will you give it a try yes 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 awesome 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 i love that yes 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 thank you i love that i hope that i inspired you absolutely Perfect. I love that I inspired you. I love that I was able to share with you. And I love that you came to spend your time with me. I really, really appreciate that. That is just so amazing and so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for the heart. I will see you guys. I don't think I'm coming on next week. I have a guest designer uh, for the jam. So I am not sure. I may. I may surprise you and come in. And if I don't come in for the jam, maybe I'll come in for something else. Thank you. I've been working on looking good, girl. I've been eating real healthy real healthy <laughs> and exercise it and all kinds of stuff i'm down 12 pounds 30 days on the whole 30 program i lost 12 pounds nine inches and me and my hubby are going to keep it going i got i got things to do i got things to do so taking the weight down keeping the heart and all the innards healthy all right I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Uh, amazing. Sandy, hey. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, oh gosh. No, I haven't. But you know, my little neighbor girl, Sarah, always wanted me to hula hoop. So I might have to go get the way to hoop because, girl, I can't hula hoop with that little light thing. I'm going to need something with some weight on it. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I know. Yes, I'm done. That's why I was like, oh, Sandy. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I tried to get right to it and move through whatever we're doing. So uh, just watch the replay. Watch the replay. It'll be fun. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. You guys have an amazing day. Have an awesome weekend. And I will see you soon. All right. Love you. Love you. Muchas, muchas.
Okay, muchos besos. I know, I know that's what it's supposed to be. But I like saying muchos smooches. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for the hearts. Have an amazing evening, an amazing weekend. Bye.